Oh, that sounds super creepy. I can't wait to get to the Big Top Circus. Hot ziggity. This is going to be great. <laughs> Hold on to that ticket, Pep. We don't want to lose it. What? I gotta join the circus. We've got a long drive to the circus. We better get going. Apple Valley, here we come. Hey, it's a goat. He sure is cute. Hmm, that goat is blocking the road to Apple Valley. I wonder where I can find something that will get him to move out of the road. Say, I don't believe we've met. The name's Cassidy. Roll along, Cassidy. Glad to meet you. I'm Putt-Putt. Well, howdy, Putt-Putt. Say, would you be able to find something to move this goat off the track? He looks hungry to me. Okay, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> that sure didn't work. Huh, probably one of these flowers. Or the whole bush. <laughs> Beautiful flowers might come in handy. I think I'll hold on to them. <laughs> Here, goaty goaty. Here, goat. That did the trick. Well, yeah, thanks, partner. I've been trying to get that gall darn goat to move all morning. I'm going to be late for the circus if I don't get my old caboose moving. You're going to the circus too? Wow, so are we. Well, uh, technically speaking, I'm uh, delivering stuff to the circus. Sawdust. Tons and tons of sawdust. No, my ticket. Oh, no. There goes my ticket to the circus. I don't have any money for a new one. Now what am I going to do? Phil's broke, man my freight car. I'm taking you straight to the Big Top Circus in Apple Valley, Putt-Putt. I'm sure we can figure out a way to get you into that circus, ticket or no ticket. Gee, thanks, Cassidy. Did you hear that, Pep? We're getting a train ride to the circus. Hot ziggity. This is great. That's so far away. Here we are. Wow! I can't believe I'm at the circus. Yep, BJ Sweeney's genuine big top circus, and BJ's just the one you need to talk to about your little ticket problem. BJ Sweeney, the ringmaster? Wow! Where do I find him? Right next to the gate, my friend. I'm sure he'd be happier than a hen to help you out. I sure hope so. Well, thanks again for the ride, Wait, please. Cassidy. See you later, Cassidy. Best of luck to you, my friend. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You must be BJ Sweeney, the most famous ringmaster in the world. You don't look too happy. Of course I'm not happy. I have a really big show to put on tonight. A spectacular spectacle meant to curl your tailpipe and put a spin in your tires. <laughs> I'm afraid the show can't go on. Oh. No. Why not? Because everything's a jumbled mess. When we pulled in here, nothing got put in the right place. Oh, my five main acts are crying mutiny, and the other acts are having problems too. Here are the five main acts. Honko the Clown, the Flying Porkowskis, Philippe the Flea, Reginald the Lion, and Katie Cannonball. This circus is doomed. Maybe I can help you. By the way, my name's Putt-Putt. Thanks, Putt-Putt. Here, take this. Maybe it will help. Paper says circus on Don't it. Don't worry about a thing, Mr. B.J. Sweeney. I'll do my best to make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. 
If you help me get this circus up and running, you'll have free circus tickets for life. That's great, <gasps> since, uh, a goat kind of ate my ticket. For life? Wow! I'm actually inside the big top. I should take a look around. Oh. Whoa! Has the circus started already? No, I'm early. I'm helping Mr. Sweeney to get his axe ready for the show. Hey, I could use some help, big time. I'm Lester. Pleased to meet you. I'm Putt Putt. What's the problem? My boss, Philippe. Philippe the Flea. He has fled with his fellow flea followers to where I do not know. He's a tad upset about the condition of his small umbrella tent here. As you can see, it's a mess. Maybe I can find him for you. Well, then you're going to need this. And see if you can find him a new tent while you're at it. Thanks, Lester. Catch your peanuts! Catch your fresh, hot, roasted peanuts! Mmm! That sounds good. How much are you selling your peanuts for? Usually these peanuts sell for, uh, peanuts. Less than a nickel. But today, because it's open tonight, I'm giving them away. If you take on the peanut challenge and win. The peanut challenge? What's that? Here, t take a closer look at my peanut gallery and I'll explain. Okay, here's how the game works. You got ten peanuts in your pile to toss to those hungry tin cars. If you can feed three cars, you will win your own jumbo bag of fresh, hot, roasted peanuts. On your mark, get set, throw! What a challenge, man. You did it! You won the peanut challenge! Yeah, I did it. You get one jumbo bag of fresh hot roasted peanuts absolutely free from me, bought the peanut cut, home of the peanut challenge. One bag per customer. Nice. Wow, thanks a lot. Hey, what are you gonna do now that you won them? Gobble them up in seconds flat? No, I'm not hungry right now. I think I'll save them for later. That's a very wise decision. You might find someone you want to share them with. That must be the ring where the clown performs. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. Are you a real police car? Hello, Putt-Putt. The name's Hank. I was a police car. Now I'm working as a security guard guarding the circus. Wow! That must be exciting. It has its good days. What? Sorry, you can't go back there. Or over there, for that matter. Why not? You need security clearance. Can't let just anybody backstage, you know. How do I get security clearance? Take this backstage security pass and get it authorized and signed off in triplicate by the proper authorities. Who are the proper authorities? I'm not sure, but I'll know it when I see it. All I do know is that it has to be proper. Okay, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> the signs putt putt. Nice. I mean, give it to uh, Sweeney, right? Excuse stuff. me, Mr. Sweeney. Hank the security car said I needed an authorized signature in triplicate before he'd let me go backstage. Can you do that? Of course I can. Good to see he's doing his job. Ah, that's my life. Paperwork. Here you go. Your backstage security clearance. Nice. Thanks. It says B... Go the other way real quick, see what's there. The tent is closed. I wonder what's inside. Open sesame! Here we go, Pep! This 
Bear's new costume looks ridiculous. It's... it's undignified. You, Reggie, could never in a million years look undignified. No way, no how, Reggie. Honest. What do you think about this travesty of a costume? It, uh, looks like you're ready to go swimming. Swimming? No, of course. It's a bathing suit. Why, it's a mistake. This is coming off immediately. Good riddance. Yeah. Oh, he's naked. Any need for this? Sure. It might come in handy. And maybe I can find your costume for you. Oh, thank goodness. Mine is a regal costume, fit for a king. Pardon me, but I don't believe you had the pleasure. I'm Reginald Cornelius and No, first. chill mob. Thank you for the bits. The kind words. Carrie and Marie. Appreciate that. John, a pleasure. I'm Putt Putt. Thank you for doing this, Putt Putt. I need that costume for tonight. Yeah, without it, the show won't go on. Oh man, there's a whole lot back here. Wait, we already beat Putt Putt. Saves the zoo. This must be where they do all the construction for the circus. What? Circle. <laughs> Circle. Hmm, that machine doesn't seem to have a saw in it. I'll bet it's missing. Oh. I guess I could try to find it somewhere. Okay. Oh, so sad. Hi, my name is Putt Putt. I'm Sebastian the Juggling Seal. Wait, I think I've got it this time. Not again. Wow, that looks difficult. Believe it or not, right now it's harder than it looks keeping this ball in the air. Usually, I have four juggling clubs. But I do what I can, it's all I can do. Hey, if I make a fool out of myself tonight, they'll just have me perform with the clowns. Could be worse. If you want me to, I could keep on the lookout for your other juggling club. Oh, I like the way you think. That would be splendiferous. You'd be doing old Sebastian the Juggling Seal a whale of a favor. Oh, I get it, because he's, he's, a, he's a whale. Oh, hello. You can't do what yeah, what's up. Rodnick dance. He's wild and crazy. It sure is. Oh, you take break, guys, okay? Who are you talking to? Oh, bunch of fleas. Into my fur they moved and now they are disco dancing just like Bill Brodnick. Wow! Mr. Sweeney said that Philippe the Flea from his flea act needed some help. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe Philippe is in your fur. I could find him and talk to him. Good. And help I could use, too. Uh, these fleas are very nice and polite bunch, but between you and me, they're a little itchy. And they make me dance this crazy disco. I need to practice my act for Big Top tonight. Well, you know what? I have the perfect thing I can use to see them and find Philippe if he's in there. Oh, very good. Okay, Bella Brodnick, let me see if I can find Philippe. Best of luck to you. Whoa! Look at all those fleas! I wonder where Philippe is. I need to find him. That's a picture of Philippe the flea. Yeah, that's, that's he must be in here somewhere. Uh. The highest up I can go? Uh. What? Philippe the Flea, is that really you? 
You are looking at him. I am the one and only. I suppose you have come to ask me to return to my ring in the big top? But sadly, I cannot. You see my tent? It is falling apart. Circus star like myself simply cannot work in such an inferior place. Oh, I promised Lester I would find a new tent for you, so everything's gonna be okay. So you and your fleet troop can come with me, and after I find your new tent, I'll take you back to the big top. This is such a kind offer, Putt Putt. I would gladly accept, but we can only travel in style. We would need something warm, something furry, something... Oh, magnifique! I have spotted the perfect creature! Poor Pep. Come on, everybody! <laughs> it's okay, Pep. It's just for a little while. And they're very nice fleas. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Milo Brodnik says thank you very much. Now I can dance to my own beat and practice my dancing for Big Top Show tonight. Nice. Putt Putt? Baby Jumbo? How come you're not in the Car Town Zoo? I'm traveling with the circus this summer. I Betty guess wants peanuts. I'm not a scaredy elephant anymore. That's great. I learned how to paint pictures all by myself. What do you think, Putt-Putt? They're really good pictures, Baby Jumbo. My mama says I have talent. I can even paint you if you want. Oh, that would be fun. All you gotta do is pick your color. Well, let's pick blue. Get ready for Blueberry Blue. Oh boy, this is gonna look great. Yo, even change the dashboard. All done. Gee, thanks. Hmm, what's this? Hey, it looks like half of a recipe. I think I'll hang on to it. Would you like some peanuts, Baby Jumbo? Oh, no thanks, Putt-Putt. I'm not hungry, but my mama loves peanuts. Now let's go back to the other way. Here you go, in triplicate. Look at that, BJ Sweeney's signature. Can't get any more proper than that. Go right in anytime you want to. Gee, nice. Thanks. Go uh, to the right first. Looks like a signature I've never seen before. You Don't know it. tell me Mr. B.J. Sweeney sent you to talk us into performing without a safety net. Tell him the flying Porkowskis won't do it. We refuse to fly through the air on the trapeze with the greatest of ease if we don't have a safety net. Won't do it. No way. Won't do it. Final. I wouldn't either. That would be dangerous. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt, and actually, Mr. Sweeney wanted me to help you. So, where is your safety net, anyway? That's the problem. Can't find it anywhere. It's been missing since we got here. Maybe I can find it for you before showtime. I'll believe it when pigs can fly. We can fly, Paul. Well... Sorta hammy. I hope you don't think it's too bold of me to ask, but do you know a little something about music? Maybe a little bit. Why? See, I'm the circus orchestra, the circus conductor, and the circus accompaniment all rolled into one. And I've got a couple of teensy little problems. 
My uh -oh. pipes are all mixed up, and it seems like I have some old translation book stuck in them. I figure if someone can set my pipes right, I can get up enough steam to get that book out. I can help you with that. Oh, that is music to my ears. Now the key here is to arrange my pipes from the lowest note to the highest note. Okay, I'll try it. By the way, since you're being so helpful and all, I should introduce myself. I'm Bet Bandwagon. I'm Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, glad to meet you. Okay, remember, arrange my pipes so they go from the lowest sounding note to the highest sounding note. The oh, green God. light means that the pipe is in the correct spot. The red light means that the pipe is in the wrong spot. I think that most of the pipes are already in the right spot. Wow, they are. It has nothing to do with music, but sure. <laughs> Try this, Bet. Okay, here goes. That was music to my ears. My goodness, it's the honkish translation book. Well, however did that get caught in my pipes? A honkish translation book? What's that? It's something you're gonna be needing if you run into Honko the Clown. Not too many of us speak honkish around here, so this book is a must. Here. Anybody in chat Pup -pup speak honkish? Thanks. You are my musical maestro. Thanks, Bet. This is great. So are you, Putt Putt. So are you. practice cannon. Oh, I hope you come to help. I have. I'm Putt-Putt. Mr. Sweeney asked me to help out. Oh, Putt-Putt. Hello, I'm Katie Cannonball. And I'm just having the hardest old time remembering how to set my little cannon here. I fly out of it in the show, but if it's not set right, oh, there's no telling where I'd wind up. Maybe even the moon. Get it, the moon? Because we've been to that moon. Usually, I have my cannon plan. You know, a little blueprint. It shows how to set my cannon, but they seem to be missing. Do you think you could help me find them? Sure, no problem. Oh, good. Meanwhile, I'll just fiddle around with this thing. Nice. I don't want to waste any water. Phew! This suit is getting tight. Hey, that's Francine, the famous hippo high diver. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. What are you doing way up there? Practicing my dive, or at least my form. The pool's as dry as the desert, so I can't jump. Why don't you put some water in it? I suspect it wouldn't do a lick of good. There's a hole the size of Apple Valley in there. It's a hole in the shape of a square. Maybe I can fix it for you. If you do that, Putt-Putt, you'll be my hero. I'm raring to go here. Excuse me, Francine. Is this yours? Yo, Toothpaste with the raid. Well, glory be. What's up, man? Believe Thank it. you for that. No wonder this other suit is so tight. Hope you had a good stream. Why don't you come down and I can give it to you? No way so wait till I she's climbing done. down. There's only one way down for a diver. I'll change in the pool. When there's water in it, that is. When okay. there's water oh, in it. <laughs> Welcome on in, everybody. Playing through a little putt-putt. I wonder how I can get to the other side. There's got to be a way. I just have to think of it. There isn't a way. I just got to find something I can use that will help me cross the road. Just playing some Doom as per usual. Nice. Getting any uh, better times? Getting close to one? I think this platform goes all the way up to the high wire. I wonder what's up there. Here I go. 
Oh, snap, I'm going up. Hi, I'm Putt Putt. Do you need some help? Well, I told you the other day. I mean, it's so good. I, ever. I am having the toughest time trying to balance on this practice wire. Never happened before. I am baffled. I can tell you that. Maybe I can help you find something to balance with, Eunice. That is mighty nice of you. I'd appreciate it. In the meantime, I hope you don't mind if I keep practicing. After all, I've got a show tonight. Wow. I read about the big tops. You can still go uh, to the far left here. What? It's creepy looking. Say there, catnip. Here's a joke coming at you. Okay, hit me, Ratto. <laughs> no, I meant with a joke. Sheesh, you're always clowning around. Hey, it's my job. Here's a good one. What did the big toe say to the little toe? Uh, I give up. He said, there's a big heel following us. Uh, I get it. And so do you. <laughs> An umbrella. This doesn't belong here. I should find who it belongs to and return it to them. Honko. Wow. The clowns must use this for putting their costumes together. That is creepy. Wow! That must be Honko the Clown. Hi, Honko. I wonder what he's trying to say. I think I found something I can use to help me figure out what Honko is trying to say. This translation book will be perfect for talking to Honko the Clown. Huh. I wonder what he's trying to say. Let me see. Your suspenders ate scrambled eggs. <laughs> I didn't think that sounded right. You missed taking a bath in bear hair. I didn't think that sounded right either. Wait a minute. I bet this is it. You're missing your nose. Well, if that's it, then I'll just have to find something for you that will work. So our new job on Monday? Nice, dude. It's awesome. You're going to be a clown, aren't you? Take over for Honko. Hey, a trampoline! I think I'll hold on to this. It might be useful. Oh, I'm just taking the whole trampoline. Okay. Wow, nice. that trailer must belong to Pectoral the Strong Van. Maybe he got so strong because he eats all those fruits and vegetables. Look, a juicer. If I put some vegetables in it, I can make a vegetable shake. Apples and pears are vegetables now? Look what I have! Fresh, hot, roasted peanuts! Peanuts? Am I still dreaming? This is wonderful! Just up gets me on Friday. Nice. Old elephant eyes. Is that really you, Putt Putt? Mama Mobasa? Honey, it is so good to see you. Baby Jumbo and I are working with the circus this summer, and my sweet boy is having the time of his life. I already saw him, Mama Mobasa. Oh, you did? Did you see his wonderful paintings? I sure did. They were great. That's my boy. Such an imagination. I borrowed that net from someone, but I don't remember who. I can return that for you, Mama Mubasa. BJ Sweeney asked me to help out with the circus. Nice. Yep, 
Yo, we got the Whoa. saw. This must so be much where stuff. Mr. Sweeney keeps all the tools to fix things for his big top circus. Hmm. I wonder what this is. This must be the other half of the recipe I found. Wow! I'd better hang on to it. Hmm. I wonder what this recipe makes. Pectoral the Strong Van Secret Recipe. I wonder what it could be. I bet Mr. Sweeney wouldn't mind if I borrowed this saw. It might be good for fixing things around the circus. As Maybe. Long as I'm careful with it. Hmm. Okay. Got to do a lot of backtracking now for stuff. Uh, feeds cares apples. What's it? I want to read it. That looks like the perfect place to make that power shake recipe I found. There we this go. is the place to make the power shake, all right. Hmm. Now, what is it supposed to have in it again? Pectoral the Strong Van's secret recipe. Beets, carrots, and apples. Beets. Carrots. Apples. Not even taking the cores out. All full. Wow, this is a powerful drink. I think I'll save the rest for later. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. Good evening, I am Marvin the Marvelous. Prepare to be amazed, astounded, and spellbound by magical feats unlike any you've ever seen. Hmm. Why bother? Everything is a mess. What's the problem? It's my magic cards. They're supposed to be in pairs, and I don't know which one goes with which. Until they're just right, I won't be able to do my famous card trick. Oh, I bet I can help you with that. That, my friend, would be simply marvelous. Thank you for this. You, I have a feeling, are about to save me. My, my magic show, my entire career. I'll do my best. Oh, we gotta match them. I wonder which cards match a juggling club. A magician's hat. Nope, those don't match. Juggling ball. A rabbit. A magician's hat. A magician's hat. All right, a match. Yay. Juggling ball. Juggling ball. A star. A rabbit. A rabbit. A rabbit. A star. A star. That's funny. There's no match for this one. I'd better tell Marvin about that. I'm all done. But this card was left over, Marvin. It didn't have a match. Yo, Brentsworth. Thank you for the two months, my man. That card got lost. A rabbit. We were playing Peoria. Hope you're doing well. My friend, it's all yours if you'd like it. Gee, thanks. Ah, uh ah, -uh. not so fast. You deserve much more than a mere card. After all, you saved my show. Mambo, Chumbo, Hocus Pocus, Dominocus. Yeah, chicken. Chicken? No, that's not right. Let's see. Abracadabra, Hocus Pocus, Diddleocus. Sandwich. Pajama Sam. Teddy Bear. Roses. One ball. There we go. I thought I'd go back to Pajama Sam. A genuine juggling club. All for you. Wowie zowie. Thanks. What a good clown costume! Noses! Hats! Hats. 
I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Honko the Clown, Philippe the Flea and his Flea Circus, the Flying Pork. I'm trying to see if there's a. Uh, no. What does that look like? Clearly, that's what he looks like. What a good clown car. Hats. Don't worry, Honko. I'll find something you can use for a clown nose. You'll see. Oh, got it. I understand the things now. The thing next to it has nothing to do with anything. Give them the net. Whoopee! It's our safety net! Thanks a bunch! A bunch in a heap, Put Put. You're welcome. Now you can be safe. The flying Porkowskis can fly again. Come on, Paul. I want to practice my flying upside down trick. Okay, Hammy, we're coming. I do hope you'll come see us in the show, Put Put. Oh, I will. I want to see Hammy do that upside down trick. It is as many hours and years playing Put Put well, and Fatty Bear activity right? pack. I never played any of the Fatty Bear games. I guess Blair said she played them too. Oh boy, I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Honko the Clown, Philippe the Flea and his Flea Circus, Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act, and Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. I think I got them in the uh, same Humble Bundle where I got all these games. But I'm not sure. Here, do you think this big umbrella will help? You never know. Can you hand it over? Sorry, I can't reach that far. Guess you're gonna have to come around the other way. Okay, I can do that. I think... What? You can play it free online, really. I mean, you can play Doom 3 in a browser now. Not too surprised. I can cut anything with my sharp blade. Pick a shape to cut. Hmm, that saw doesn't seem to have a blade. Maybe this saw what? will help. Oh. Buzz should be able to cut the pull patch for Francine now. Square. Hmm, I think the hole in the pool is in the shape of a square. Great. Here you go, Sebastian. One juggling club. Okay. I think we have all the pieces together. It's just Splendiferous. backtracking. Just like old Sebastian the Juggling Seals Juggling Club. Woohoo! That is great. There's the nose. Have a ball. Gee, thanks. No, gee, thanks to you. Woohoo! You did me a great favor. I'm a phantasmic juggling genius once again. Arr. Uh, 
I haven't found anything for her. Have I? Uh, maybe Anko gives me something. Hey, you patched the pool! I sure did! Fantastic! See, why don't you fill her up with water? Then I can practice my dive! You got it! Okay! Pool looks full to me! Ooh! I can't wait to show off some of my fancy dives! And I can't wait to see them! Ready for a little grace in action? Look over here! Try this on for size. Excellent! You are a life saver. Here, I won't be needing this. Thanks! Reginald the Lion will sure be happy to get this back. Oh, the trampoline. Right. I think this trampoline will do the trick. <laughs> I'm wondering where you use the trampoline. Here goes nothing. Excuse me. Yes? Do you work here? I do. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. I'm Ivan, the semi-strong van. Although right now, I'm not very strong at all. Why not? What's the matter? I can't find Pectoral's secret power shake recipe. Pectoral the strong van? Pectoral, the original strong van. When he retired, he gave me his secret recipe. And now, it's missing. Without no. Pectoral's power shake, I'm just the 98th found weakling. So that's what the power shake is for. I already found the recipe, and I whipped one up. Pectoral's secret power shake? You have it? I sure do. Would you like it? That is an offer I can't refuse. Here you go, Ivan. Pectoral's secret power shake. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come to Papa. <laughs> Now I feel strong! Wowie zowie! That power shake is really powerful! Okay, watch this! Oh, he's so strong! That is great! Lifting a ton is easy with Pectoral's secret power shake recipe! Especially for a semi-strong van like me! Now I could do this all day, all night! It's probably the cannon plans, right? Great, I got them! The plans for Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act! Nice. So sure be happy to see these. Uh, I think we pretty much have everything. Just gotta return it. Here's the umbrella, Eunice. Well, let's see if that works. Here, you hold this little fella. That's what the problem was. Now that I think about it, that other umbrella looks awfully tiny. This is the umbrella I use in my act. I see that now. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you want me to do with this other umbrella? Keep it. I have no need for it. I can tell you that. Thanks! Nice. Well, as I always say, if at first you don't succeed, try a new umbrella! So after this, uh, another pup-pup. Hey Eunice, what's that wrench for? Pup-pup's birthday surprise or something like that? Fix it all morning, but as they say, it takes two to tighten. I think the bolt's a little rusty. Maybe I can help you tighten it. You're on! Okay, ready when you are. 
I think we got it! Great! Now if you want, you can drive across the high wire! That's what the second wire's for! It's for you four-wheelers! Me, I only need one! Gee, thanks! Uh, I mean... Wanna highlight them? Uh... I've been wanting to. But it's just afterwards... If I remember to go through all of them. It's a lot easier to highlight multiple things now in a clip, or like in a VOD. Which is nice, just uh, if I remember to do it. Here they are! The plans for your cannon, Katie Cannonball! I hardly know how to thank you, Putt-Putt. Uh, uh, just say thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Can you help me set the cannon up? Normally, I have Ivan help me out, but he's busy getting ready for tonight. I'd be happy to help you with that. Really? Oh, I am tickled. Thank you. The controls are right over there. I gotta it do looks everything. Like the controls have a lock on them, probably for safety reasons. One, two, nine, eight. Seven. Yellow. I hope this works. Uh, I don't have it set up. Okay, Putt Putt, let's. I meant to do it earlier, but I was distracted uh, with uploading and converting podcast stuff. So, I mean, I'll probably. After the next putt putt game, I'll probably take a break to eat. Bravo! Okay. If I remember, I'll no, it up you then. you did it, putt putt. I don't know what I would have done without you. I was kind of thinking I'd just do pajama Sam stuff tonight well, and like I'd better wrap up the big top. Uh, more console stuff tomorrow. I need to have plenty of time to practice my cannon act. I've got a show to put on. I'll be looking for you, putt putt. See you, Katie Cannonball. Gee, I just got a kiss from a real circus star. <laughs> but, but please. You're underage, buddy. Hey! I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Honko the Clown, Philippe. Here you go, Honko. It's a little red ball. Will this do the trick? You're welcome, Honko. I was happy to help. So actually thinking about like NES and Super Nintendo games, I probably need to get more. See you in the big top. So I'm sure there's a lot of short ones I didn't really look into. Zowie. I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Philippe the Flea and his Flea Circus. Yeah, just start skipping some of his animations. That won't do me any good there. What? What are you talking about? Here, Lester. Will this work for the flea tent? Will it ever? Put it in place and we are in business. Oh, now that is a work of art. Philippe is gonna love it. I love it! It's even better than my first paper umbrella tent. It's magnifique! You, Putt Putt, are a star of a car. Is it prequel to Cars? Nope. Oh, this is set 
far in the future, once all the older cars have been wiped out by a meteor. See you later. Philippe is coming. I am ready for my makeup. This is great. I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. All right. Here's your costume, Reginald. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, Reginald Cornelius Andronicles the Third can go on the stage again. We've no time to waste. We have a rehearsal to attend. Thank you, Putt Putt. Yeah, you're a real pal. See you at the show. You got it. We did it. Wow! Now all the main acts are ready. Hot ziggity. <laughs> Mr. BJ Sweeney's Big Top Circus is all set to open. Welcome, one and all, to the opening night of the Big Top Circus. We have a really big show tonight, and we couldn't have done it without the help of a very special guest, Putt-Putt. Gee, thanks. As a special thank you for all he's done for this circus, we're going to let Putt-Putt perform under the Big Top. Pick what? your pleasure, Putt-Putt. When you're done, just come up and push this button to start the rest of the show. Wow, which one should I do? Which one should I do, chat? Pie or trampoline? <laughs> Some hot, some hot choices here. Pie? Yeah, pretty big fan of pie. Alright, well, it looks like a pretty overwhelming pie. <laughs> I'm a madman. Bam. <laughs> I think that was a pretty good pie act. We got 